Is Young Nails going out of business? What is going on with our company? There's been rumors, comments, DMs. I've seen uh, a few of them. I've even had some conversations with people. We're gonna give you the real deal right now on the Biz Talk. It's this is like an ongoing rumor. It, it's, yeah, that I keep, I keep starting it. That's why. <laughs> I knew it. Episode is over. Let's we're gonna do this thing where you just end episodes early. Tracy exposed. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> All right, ridiculous. <laughs> um, okay, there's. This is something over the last three years. Mm-hmm. Um, not only have I heard it from customers, I've heard it from, you know, people that we do business with, uh, even on the vendor side. Are we going out of business? Oh my God, our Young Nails is going down. They're not doing trade shows anymore. <laughs> all this, all this stuff. Okay, here's the truth. No, <laughs> we're not even remotely close. To that, as a matter of fact, our company over the last three years has done nothing but grow and on a very rapid pace, okay? Um, We've been hiring over the last 12 months to help us manage the growth and continue to build the company. I think that's important. I wanted to communicate that because... um, Having that out in the market, like our brand is not doing well or we're financially unstable, all this crazy talk, it's important like um, just to tell the, the truth and be honest. I'm, I'm a huge, um, it's, it's really weird. Like I'm a huge believer in that, which would seem obvious. Well, shouldn't you be honest about you communicate that here's the truth most businesses aren't (laughs) are not yeah they're they're, not truthful or honest about how they communicate it's not even that they're not truthful they're not transparent they're not transparent correct and you're transparent very very transparent about our business we're transparent about everything hey you want to learn how to do this design boom here you go you want to learn how to do nails in an hour boom you want to know the real deal about doing these intricate insane designs that take five hours <clears throat> here's our opinion yeah so like i am very transparent even business strategies yeah. how we do things what's responsible for our growth is social media and this marketing you know all of it but here's the thing like three years ago I was called by uh, a phone call from somebody in the industry uh, that we were doing business with who was very concerned and said to me, like, hey, I know you guys aren't doing well. Like, this person said, I was like, oh, my God, this is an insane conversation. What the hell is going on? I'm not. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, How do you know and I don't? Yeah. Like, did... Did you suddenly come into our business, become a partner, and now you know all the financial information of our organization? Young and young and uh, Greg are taking over. Oh my god! Cutting you out of the business. I'm out, right? (laughs) Essentially. So, like that actually happened, and then not only that, but we would go to trade shows, and then I would hear rumblings and mumblings and customers, and I'm like, "This is insane." Yeah. It's actually the complete opposite. You know, we made a decision three years ago okay, to have this huge change in our business model as an organization. Okay, this is the truth. A lot of what we were doing wasn't working for our business. So we stopped growing. We plateaued, you know. Were we starting on the path of decline? The truth is yes, we were starting on the path. We were not in any financial harm or anything, right? There was like a, there was a, a revenue like shift. Right. And like I try to do things way ahead before they become a pattern. I don't wait for it to become a pattern, right? So for me, I very, rec- I, rec- bleh, I recognized very early that what we're doing isn't working anymore. So we've got to make a shift and we did. And where's that shift that we made? We pulled out of trade shows because when I looked at the information 
it was not providing value to our company or right. our customers. Right. Like our customers weren't getting anything out of the trade shows. They were charging too much money. Right. They were gouging vendors like us yeah. like crazy and charging nail professionals extremely high prices to get into the shows. Yeah. Attendance declined. Uh, prices kept on going up. Kept going us. up. Yep. Couldn't extend value to the customers anymore because Correct. they had raised the prices so much. So therefore, discounts and stuff like that just really couldn't happen much. Right. It it was yeah. It, it was insane. But it was scary. It was very it was very scary to do because our whole business was built off of trade shows and advertising in the trade magazines. And that was another step that we took, we yeah. pulled. And so all of a sudden, we were no longer in the magazines, we we're no longer at trade shows. So then rumors start to begin, where's exactly. Young Nails, where are they going? Well, I'll tell you where we went. We went on social media. We went hard on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, LinkedIn, TikTok, blog, podcast, pumping out mass amounts of content over the last three years so that we can communicate consistently with our customer base, with the focus of giving value to you, the nail professional, which has led to hyper growth of our business today. Um, so actually, thank you for that. Right. Yeah, amazing. It's, it's, it's been incredible. Actually, we worked harder. We worked way harder than what was going on before to to give that value to Correct. the customer, and it's it's paid off. But it uh, definitely there were people in the industry that was trying, my opinion, to feed feed us fear. Right. Yeah. Right. The, making you know because we weren't going the traditional route. Correct. And of course, that's taking money away from them. Of course, when you're. When you're making such a huge change from how things are traditionally done, f when you're trying to take your business in your own hands and make a change that is so different and nobody has done. We were the first ones to break off and go, we're going full digital. It is. It takes like real courage, which it, trust me, it took a lot of courage. Like I was scared shitless that that's the truth yeah. i was it's, yeah i was scared stress and stress. like even though i believed it was the right direction doesn't mean i wasn't scared i was freaked out i was like oh my god what if this doesn't work like those thoughts go through your head right i'm, I'm a human being but i still you know because of my experiences and all i know how to do a lot of times is just to go off of my feel and my gut and go all in with it and that's what we did. Yeah. We went all in together as a group, as a team, as an organization. Um, and scared. it was scary. <laughs> and even in the beginning, we made that change. It was not so obvious that this was the right no, move for a while. It actually took a little downturn. Yeah, we saw a little dip yeah. initially, you know, but it was like, I here's what I know for a fact. What were we, what we were doing before 100% wasn't working. So even if the change that we made didn't work out, it's okay. Because I would have gotten more information on, okay, well, this is not working either. So then let's try something else right. in addition. Yeah. So I know that I was in um, heading in the right direction because continuing to do the things that don't work for your business, staying in habit, staying in that comfortable zone it was definitely not the right move. Yeah. And and but it's it's really normal in for businesses to do, right? For sure. If if you you know, especially if you had a successful model doing it because Correct. times change. Correct. And that that happens in salon all the time like okay, this what I created was working, it was doing mm. well. I I this is how I've always advertised my business, this is always how I ran my business, but things become obsolete. Correct. And you have to change. Change is scary. Yep. It can be very scary, but it's very exciting too. And what you, I love what you just said and the fact that it didn't matter because what you were doing, even if this didn't work, what you do was doing definitely didn't work. So Correct. why are you putting your energy towards that? That's exactly right. There's too much. And this is where I think a lot of salons will be able to relate, Yeah, you know, is Maybe you're a pro out there that's been in the business a long time. 
even if you're, let's say financially, your business is not decreasing, you've seen change, maybe you're completely burned Mm -hmm. out because you have been doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. That's not good either because what that leads to is your customer service is gonna deteriorate, your communication with your existing customers that you think are gonna be there forever is gonna deteriorate. You might have, you're gonna you're gonna now start to have leakage, which means one customer is gonna leave and be like, you know what, she's just not the same anymore, I don't like this, I'm gonna go to somewhere else, I'm gonna go to somewhere else, Spreads. it starts to spread, and here's the thing, before you know it, it will be too late. By the time you recognize what's going on, it's already too late. So once you start feeling that staleness, you've got to change. You've got to make the big change. That's really what this whole message is about, right? right? Yeah. Are we going to go out of business? Hell no, we're not going out of business. Like we're complete opposite. We're we're growing right now so fast, and it's it's really beautiful for our company, our team, everybody on board right now. We've got the most amazing team. But the bigger message here is, if you're feeling too comfortable, or if your business is starting to decline. You've got to make a change. You can't keep doing the same thing. Well, I think that's what we we talk about a lot, right? Is being honest with yourself, look taking a look yeah. in the mirror, and right. and old things don't always work. Are you saying I'm old when I look in the mirror? This old thing does not work. <laughs> just because, again, it just because yeah. it worked before it doesn't mean I I, I actually I watched the show. Do you, have you ever watched Bar Rescue? No. I love this show. He goes in and he saves bars. Oh. And most oh, that, of them, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That guy's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. And most of them were very successful. At one point. And it's just a running theme of them wanting to stick with the old way of doing it. Of course. Dude, business is hard enough, yeah. right? We know this. We're in it every day. Business is so hard. So when you actually get to the point where your business is successful, you're like... Oh, thank you. Cruise control. Dude, you want to just chill. You know what I'm saying? But this is why business, staying in business for a long period of time is so damn hard because you can't stay comfortable for too long. And you've got to embrace that challenge. That's why if you love a challenge, being an entrepreneur, being a business person, a nail nail professional, you're going to love it because... It's always changing and shifting. You've got to shift with it. I like that. Right? Yep, I like it. So now professionals, number one, no, we're not going out of business. <laughs> so don't if worry. this is going out of business, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really busy going out of business. <laughs> really busy going out of business. Um, and number two, the big message here is, you know, we made a big change in our, in our like uh, model. And maybe it's time that you need to do the same thing, you know, to shift your, sometimes making a change, well, you'll just gain inspiration. You'll, you'll just be inspired by that, you know, learning something new, doing something new. We had to do it. Obviously, when we made that change, the rumors started to fly. Yeah, get them talking about you. Yeah, get them talking about you. It doesn't make a difference. Obviously, it didn't impact our business because even though people were talking smack, we were still growing at a very accelerated rate and we continue to do so today. So... Let us know in the comments below how you feel about that. Is your business getting stale? Are you looking to make a change? Have you done it? What have you seen? What do you feel? And Tracy, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you guys for joining us. And we'll see you next time on the Biz Talk. Bye.